For the next few minutes, I'd like to tell you about the GTEC TB125 Torch Booster. This is a system that connects up to low pressure utility natural gas and can raise the pressure as high as 30 psi with a flow rate of 125 cubic foot per hour. It connects up to low pressure utility gas and raises the pressure because high pressure natural gas is an excellent fuel for a variety of applications involving torches, burners, those kinds of things, if you can get it at sufficient pressure. Now many of our customers are migrating from a cylinders of acetylene, propane, and fuel gases like that, but up till now they couldn't use high pressure natural gas because the utility either could not or would not give them the pressure they need. In many buildings, utility natural gas pressure is less than a PSI, and in many cases only a quarter of a PSI. A GTEC TB125 torch booster solves that problem by connecting right to the utility natural gas line, raising pressure, and giving you all the gas flow that you need. Now, as you can see, the system itself is fairly compact. It's a little bit larger than a window air conditioner, but it measures 20 inches across, 16 inches tall, and 18 inches deep. It can be installed almost anywhere. Our customers generally install these units right in the area where they're going to use high pressure natural gas. There are no site preparation requirements. It doesn't require ventilation. It uses a hermetically sealed compressor. It's quiet, and so it can go right in the area where you're working. We have customers who have installed these systems in industrial areas for sure, but also in laboratories, in jewelry shops and shopping malls, restaurants, virtually anywhere. It's good to know that the TB125 is approved for installation in buildings even where cylinders of acetylene, propane, and other fuel gases are prohibited. So you can install the GTEC TB125 virtually in any building in North America. Now, before we get into how the system works, let me show you how this is connected up to the utility natural gas line. If we can bring the camera around behind the uh, unit here, you're going to see that vertical pipe there. Imagine that's your building gas line. Your plumber will come in and install the T that you see there, and we'll have a one inch gas line and a three quarter inch T. GTEC includes the blue handled ball valve that you see there and the hose that's used to connect to the unit. So at one end at the wall, the hose screws into the blue handled ball valve and then over here at the back of the machine, it screws into the booster itself, and that's how you make the connection to your utility gas line. The system runs on 120 volt, 20 amp electrical power, so you can plug it into a regular utility outlet. So in terms of installing the unit, it's easy to do. As we say, you'll have your plumber install the T on your existing gas line, and then the uh, flexible hose is used to connect the unit to the uh, gas line. Now, looking across the front of the unit, first of all we have a series of lights across the top. These are status lights and they tell you what phase of operation the machine is in. The green button here is the power button. When you press that button, the lights and the fan come on. Over here, the black button is used to actually start the compressor itself. And then here in the center, the red button is used to turn off the entire machine when you're done for the day. Here in the center we have a gauge which shows what the pressure is inside the machine and then over here in the lower right corner we have an hour meter and the machine does require maintenance every 2,000 hours so the hour meter helps you keep track of when those intervals are and every 2,000 hours we change a filter and a couple of check valves. Then down here in the center we have the high pressure outlet, so this is where high pressure gas comes out. It is a one quarter inch normal pipe thread outlet. Uh, you can connect this to a shop manifold, that is to pipe gas throughout your facility. You can connect an individual torch to it. We do sell regulators that will let you set your pressure between 1 and 30 psi, or in many cases our customers are migrating from cylinders of acetylene and propane and they already have a regulator that they've used on those cylinders. 
The good news is that you can reuse this regulator with the GTEC Torch Booster. We include with the unit a female CGA 510 fitting that, again, if you've got the kind of regulator that screws onto a 100-pound propane or a 20-pound barbecue propane tank, you can reuse that with your GTEC system. So let's take our regulator now and install it, and then we'll get on to turning on the booster. Okay, so we've got our regulator on. Now, to operate the machine, the first thing we're going to do is turn on the uh, power, which is this button here. Then, once the power is turned on, you'll see the green light comes on and the amber light comes on. And to actually start the compressor, we're going to press this black button here, and you'll see both the amber light and the red compressor light are on. We'll hold this black button until the amber light goes out, and our machine is working. So let's start the booster. And you hear the fan come on. And then to actually start the compressor. And now the machine is running. And as you can hear, it's fairly quiet. What you hear is the fan noise. Uh, the compressor itself is the kind of compressor that you find in a refrigerator. And it ma makes very little noise itself. So we would run the booster until we're done. And then when it's time to turn it off for the day, we just turn it off. So again, to start the booster, we press the green button here, starts the fan and the uh, lights. We press the black button to start the compressor, and we hold it until this amber light goes out, and then the booster is ready to run. Now, while the booster is operating, it automatically adjusts to the gas flow that's required by your torch or torch edge. That is, it adjusts itself as it's working. So if you have one torch lit, it provides the right amount of gas. If you have four torches lit, it provides the right amount of gas. There are no controls, dials, buttons, or anything else you need to do other than turn it on and to turn it off. Now, we said that this system is welcomed in places where cylinders of acetylene are prohibited, and I'll tell you why. There are some important safety features built into this machine which you don't find with a cylinder of gas. Uh, on the one hand, the machine itself does not store any gas. It raises gas pressure and supplies it to your torches as gas is used, compared to having cylinders that are full of gas and dangerous to store. But the other thing is, if a torch booster loses pressure on the outlet side, let's say a hose is cut, it will automatically turn itself off. Now I'm going to show you how that works by turning the machine on and holding my finger over the outlet here, and then I'll take my finger off, and you'll see that the booster will immediately turn itself off. So we'll start the booster, and we'll build pressure. Now let's say we have a, a hose cut, and you can see the compressor light is off, and our gauge is down to zero. Let's do that again. Again, we're, we build pressure, we have a hose cut, and the machine turns itself off. Now, if you had a cylinder of gas and had a hose cut, that cylinder is going to leak until it runs out of gas or until somebody notices and turns it off. The GTAC machine turns itself off immediately. The other thing is that you have to have something connected, a torch, a manifold, or some kind of a closed system on the outlet here for the booster to be able to run. So I'm going to turn the machine on now. We don't have a torch or a regulator or anything attached to it, and you'll see that it's impossible for the machine to keep running. So again, what you find is that because there's nothing connected to the machine, it will not start and keep running as compared to a cylinder, which if somebody left the valve open, left the torch open, something like that, would continue to leak until it's empty. So for these reasons, this system is considered safe enough to install in any building in North America, even places where you can't install cylinders of propane or acetylene. 
Now, this machine is used by a lot of different applications. Uh, many of our customers are using this to cut plate steel. And a TB125 torch booster can run as many as four cutting torches, uh, whether they're hand torches like this or machine torches. We also have customers who use natural gas for brazing. And when brazing with natural gas, you get a much better quality braze because the flame wraps the joint better, brings it up to temperature more evenly, your, fl your fill rod flows more completely and fills better, and also you don't get, get surface defects, melt throughs, things like that. We also have customers who are using the system for soldering using a turbo torch style torch like this. You can solder up to four inch copper pipe using high pressure natural gas. We also have customers in the jewelry industry who are using torches like the Smith Little Torch or this Hope Style Torch. And the TB125 is right for a jewelry manufacturer with as many as 25 bench torches. We also have customers, uh, many of the leading ham glazing restaurants in the country use GTEC systems to glaze their hams using a torch like this and the TB125 will run two of these torches simultaneously. Other customers use our system for shrink wrapping, and the high-end shrink wrap model 998 heat tool is the right system for the TB125, or should I say the TB125 is the right system for the shrink fast model 998 heat tool. We also have customers who are using these systems for uh, for uh, forges, if you have an NC tool forge, this can run up to three burner forges. If you have a chili forge, it can run two of the Diablo burners. We also have customers in laboratories who are using these systems with uh, Clace M4 fluxers. Uh, this will run the M4 fluxer uh, burners and let you substitute high pressure natural gas for propane. And it can be installed right in the laboratory environment itself. So to kind of recap here then, the TB125 torch booster raises gas pressure to 30 PSI with a flow rate of 125 cubic foot per hour. By special assembly, if you do need higher pressure or greater flow rate, give us a call because this machine can be modified on a case-by-case -case basis for higher pressure and higher flow. But the benefits of a GTEC TB125 torch booster are, first of all, you'll save money. Compared to any other fuel gas, natural gas is significantly less expensive. Second, natural gas does the job, but you have to be able to get it at high pressure. If your gas company either can't or won't give you the pressure your application needs, then a GTEC TB125 will do the job. Third is safety, again, we can install these in any building in North America. If you're in a facility where your fire marshal, your insurance company, or your plant safety officer thinks it would be a good idea to get stored cylinder gases out of the building, this is the right system for you. And then finally, and the thing our customers like best, is because you're connected right to the utility natural gas supply, you never run out. And so no emergency deliveries, no running out in the middle of a job, no running down to the propane store to get a, an extra cylinder because you've run out. A GTEC TB125 torch booster will do the job for you 24 hours a day, days at, weeks at a time.